Schrock Innovations presents the Midwest's number one independent computer repair company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, and across the country via the Schrock desk. This is Compute This. Welcome in, folks. Welcome to Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. We have service centers in Lincoln, the original 27th and Pine Lake Road in Omaha, 168th and Burke in Papillion. That's on the corner of uh, 84th and Highway 370. Now, if none of these city names sound familiar to you, that's because they're all located in Nebraska. Now, we, of course, do have support services nationwide via the Schrock Desk, which is our online support system that you can access anytime. Just call us in the service center. We can help you out with your computer problems right over the Internet over at schrockdesk.com. Today's call-in number to join us on the program is 866 866- 4968772 8664968772 you can also participate uh, live on facebook at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. For all those who may not know it, Schrock is spelled S-C-H-R-O-C-K. No relation to the cabinet company, but I hear they make great products. All right. It must be something to do with the Schrock name. I don't know. All right, guys, I have an amazingly fun show for you today. All right. So first of all, uh, we have a safety warning. This is serious. Apparently, people are getting letters, especially Barclays card customers. I don't know if there was something in the, in the manufacturing mix with those cards, but they're getting letters in the mail that are warning of a safety recall on debit cards. Uh, apparently, you, you know how they've been putting chips in all the debit cards now. Apparently, some of the debit cards are exploding and lighting fires in people's pockets, um, burning stomachs, things like that. You know, I just craziness. So we're going to tell you if your card is affected by this and what steps you definitely need to take and which steps you don't want to take uh, to make sure that you handle the situation properly. Uh, Also, uh, this week today, actually, today, as in at the end of the day today, the the preventative maintenance checkup sale will be ending at Schrock. The final one of 2018, it will be over. I warned you this one wasn't going to drag on like ones in the past had for months or whatever, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks. This, uh, this one is pretty much uh, in and out. So uh, bottom line is if you can get your computer into the service centers, turnaround times are actually pretty good because a lot of people have been buying the certificates on the website. But if you can bring your computer into the service center, great. Uh, we can do the preventative maintenance checkup for you. It's nearly half off. Uh, or if you uh, prefer to purchase a certificate on our website, you can go to schrockinnovations.com and buy a certificate that entitles you to that preventative maintenance checkup anytime in the next six months that it's convenient for you. So if today doesn't work for you, (laughs) I would strongly suggest the website. And of course, while you're there, uh, take a moment to take a look at the Schrock Safe Upgrade product as well. If you click on Shop and Specials, you'll see it all there. Uh, But we're going to be talking about that here in the next segment a little bit as well because, oh yeah, it's coming. October's coming fast, guys. Uh, Halloween candy is already out. Um, Some stores are putting their Christmas, uh, Pier 1's getting their Christmas sets in. Uh, We were over there yesterday looking at some stuff from my wife's office, and oh my gosh, the they're already getting Christmas stuff. And, and it's hilarious because if you've ever worked in retail or if you understand, like especially places like Michael's, for example, or Hobby Lobby, they have to get their Christmas craft materials in right now so that people have time to buy them and make a Christmas craft to give to somebody by Christmas. All right. That, that's, you can't, it, they don't work on the same cycle as like, you know, Walmart. Okay. Um, and so, oh, it's, a, you, there's two types of people in the world. There's people who can walk by a Christmas aisle in September and not say a word, not think anything of it, not let it bother their soul. And then there is the other type of person who is incredibly offended that the holiday season is encroaching on their September. (laughs) And they feel the need to comment on it loudly as they walk past the aisle where people are looking at the Christmas stuff. Um, And of course, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm usually pretty good about keeping. My internal dialogue is, is somewhat, I've learned that I need a filter, okay? On this show, guys, oh my God, that's what the Aftershock is for. That's why we created the Aftershock. After I've done this show for an hour, my filter is so full of things that got caught, I just need a place to let them all out. And that's what the Aftershock is. That's the Facebook show that we do after this program at facebook.com slash Uh But, uh, <laughs> and I've got some fun stuff for you today too. But, oh my gosh, so it, we're in the aisle, you know, The lovely Kimberly, however, doesn't always feel the need to filter like that. 
So she will sometimes make comments back to people. Like the other day at Pier 1, they were getting their Christmas set in. It wasn't even out yet, right? So they were talking about the things they were discounting to make floor room for the Christmas set that was coming in. And someone behind her in line is like, oh, my gosh, I just can't believe it. And, you know, the lovely Kimber's like, oh, you know, those people who feel like Christmas should just be confined to a 30-day period, they just – how, it's got to be hard to be that angry all the time. It just has to be tiring. <laughs> it's like in the South when someone says, bless your heart. <laughs> they really mean you can go beep. <laughs> 866-496-8772. So maintenance checkup special is ending uh, in the service center to, to make room for, for Christmas time, right? And as such, I do have a pronouncement to make. The rough draft, if you will, of the 2018 holiday special is out. Um, of course, we're not selling them yet. This is the holiday special. We put them on sale. We usually, we, okay, if we launch them before Halloween, people get really mad. If, you know, sometimes people get mad if we decorate before Thanksgiving in the service centers, but, you know, we start selling the holiday special at the end of October. So the start of November, we want to put up the, the holiday decorations, but people come in. And then again, like I said, half the people in the world just, have that lump of coal in their soul and they feel the need to say something about it. So one year we thought we would be slick, you see. So we did winter decor. <laughs> That's where you put up the, the tree and all like the fake snow and stuff, but you don't put any ornaments on it or anything Christmas related. It didn't work. People still, they saw, phew, our customers are smart. They see right through stuff like that. So we just say we're just going to have to own it this year. But uh, one of the things that we do with the holiday special, if you've been a listener for, for a long time, you know we do this. And those of you who don't know what the holiday special is, I should probably take a moment to tell you. But uh, the 2018 holiday special, when we do these holiday special computers, um, we have a laptop and a desktop, okay? And we build the biggest, baddest, most amazing computer that you can possibly build at a $1,500 price point. Yes, $1,500 can be construed to be a lot for a modern computer, but wait until you see what you get for your $1,500. And especially when we go and we stack it up against what you can get at the Dell website for that price, and you're getting like, you know, normally these computers are $3,000 computers retail. And the reason you're getting them for $1,500 is because during the holiday season, we sell them at cost. You see, here's the thing. We don't make a ton of money when we sell computers. The thing that pays my employees' salaries and keeps the lights on is the service that we provide after the sale, the assistance that we provide, the Schrock Desk subscriptions, the endpoint subscriptions, the secure updater subscriptions, uh, you know, people coming in to have their drives replaced when DriveAdvisor detects a failing hard drive. Those are the things that, that help us keep the lights on. When we sell computers, of course, we make a little bit, but it's not, it isn't like Dell where, you know, we've got it down to the science where we're making, you know, uh, you know half the price of the computer every time we sell one. Um, so when we do the holiday special, it is a way for us to give you an incredible value on a new computer, a computer that's going to last you eight to 10 years documented, okay? Just this week in the Omaha Service Center. Now, I don't know if it was in continuous operation and it wasn't even a holiday special. We had one of our Duron 400 builds recycled. The Duron, the AMD Duron 400 was released in the year 2000, I believe. I think, uh, yeah, it was 2000 because the, the Bush was running for his first election with Gore and it was that whole Florida mess. I remember that. Kind of sticks in your mind. Um, but uh, boy, so the, the Duron 400 from the year 2000, that's 18 years ago and it just now got recycled. Now that's obviously the most extreme example I could point out on the radio. However, it is very routine for our holiday specials to last eight to 10 years for two reasons. One, when you buy a holiday special, it is so ridiculously over spec for what you're going to be using it for that you have so much room to grow that you just never hit the ceiling. And when I say never, be reasonable. In your lifetime, you'll hit the ceiling eventually. I mean, we have been selling holiday specials since 2001. Um, the 2001 holiday special technically ran the first version of Windows 10 that came out. I don't think it'll run the current version but it ran the first version that came out, if that tells you anything. So, I mean, it, that, they're amazing computers. So this year's holiday special computer, now we don't have the laptop spec yet. This is just the desktop spec. Just some highlights I'm going to hit for you. One terabyte solid state hard drive. That's a 50% increase from last year's 500 gigabyte hard drive. So a one terabyte solid state hard drive. 
32 gigabytes of high-speed DDR4 memory. To give you a comparison, our modular computers come with about eight standard. You can upgrade them, but they come with eight standard. This has 32. Upgradable to 64 if you prefer, or even 128, depending on how we configure it. The all-new generation Ryzen processor, it's got a Ryzen 3 2200 processor. Um, so this processor is going to be more efficient and faster than last year's processor. Um, the, uh, the secondary hard drive, it has the Schrock safe and stored backup. So it also has a two terabyte rotating disk hard drive that automatically backs up that solid state. This keeps you out of our data recovery lab and helps make sure you always have a backup of your information should something go wrong with your hard drive. Pretty neat stuff. Now the holiday special in the radio industry, when you give things away, right? You want to give away a complete prize because nobody calls in to win like 25% off a tanning package. They call in to win a free tanning package, okay? So this, as you will say, is a complete product because you don't have to buy anything else when you buy this computer. You get the tower. It has the DVD drive in it, has the card reader in it, has a power supply that's twice as strong as it needs to run everything in the computer so it lasts as long as everything else does. It's got USB 2 ports. It's got USB 3 ports. It's got USB C ports. It's, you know, it's got every kind of USB port you could want. It does SD cards, XD cards, CF cards, compact, I mean, the Sony XD sticks, it does all the cards. And yes, it plays CDs too, if you really, really had to know that. It's got 802.11 AC wireless. That's the fastest wireless you can put in a, in a computer anymore. Um, all these things start adding up to be a computer that you're going to, like I said, that'll last you eight to 10 years. But then, but wait, there's more. You get a monitor for that price. We're going to put a, it's a 24 inch monitor with integrated speakers this year. A full HD monitor at 24 inches. It's a huge monitor. It's amazing. You get that with the product. And that, that up, 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 there's more. Wireless keyboard and mouse set as well. So you'll get yourself the monitor, the wireless keyboard and mouse set, and the tower, all for the price of $14.99. Now, again, $14.99 sounds like a lot, but when you're looking at a new computer, because everyone's looking at the Martin saying, well, aren't they like $500 now? Well, all the chip on board stuff is, yeah, the stuff that you can't fix and you can't upgrade and you can't replace. But the holiday special is completely modular, which means if anything goes wrong, we can replace it. In fact, you can even cover it with extended warranties as long as you want to. And if you don't use the warranty, we give you your money back. If you need the warranty, it's a $1,500 computer. What do you think we're going to replace in there for 100 bucks? It's expensive stuff, guys. Just the solid state alone is well more. You, even with the, you, you want the warranty if you buy the holiday special. I'm just saying. So with all that said, we sold the first holiday special this week. Um, what we do is we typically get two users, two demo users for each build. Uh, right now, we're just doing the desktop. We're not doing the laptop at this time. The business user is covered now. So we're going to have a chiropractic office from Lincoln that we can actually have on the radio show when we put the sale on in October. They would have their holiday special desktop. They would have had it in the office for weeks. They, they would be able to tell you about their experience with the computer, good, bad, or otherwise. Um, and so now we need a residential user. We need a regular, everyday consumer. So if you were thinking about buying a holiday special, if you were waiting to see what came out, or maybe you are you know have a computer that's bad and you're just like, band-aiding it along. I know you, you're out there. Uh, so till the holiday season comes around so you can get this special, you can give us a call and we can get one on order for you. Now, the other thing right now, this is not on the website. So for those of you listening in, in far-flung places, please do contact the service centers. You can get all of our information at schrockinnovations.com. Um, it, uh, if we ship the computer to you, it ships from our Papillion Service Center. So if you were going to contact one, I would contact the Papillion Service Center. But, uh, but basically, we can ship these computers as well. Uh, we do. Last year, we shipped them, we shipped them all over the place because you just can't find this kind of computer at anything close to this price anywhere else. 866-496-8772. So coming up on the program today, exploding debit cards. Oh, guess what? If you weren't thinking about a new computer until just now, if you have an Intel processor in your computer, you might want to start thinking a little harder about it. And most of you do have Intel processors in your computers. Unless, of course, you have our modular systems because they don't have Intel processors, but all of our laptops do. Because honestly, with the laptops, the, the 
the thing with laptops is heat. You have to control the heat, and Intel processors do a better job controlling the heat. That's why we sell them. Um, unfortunately, there is a whole nother round of Microsoft patches coming out uh, for Spectre vulnerabilities and those Intel chips that's going to impact performance. So we're going to tell you about that coming up on the show. If you Okay, we always get static from like the two Linux listeners we have that we never talk about Linux at all. And that's because nobody cares about Linux. But people do care about people getting gagged. And so Linux, Intel is trying to gag Linux users about their experience on their, with, their, with their hardware. Uh, so we're going to tell you what's going on there. Why is Intel doing this? Also coming up on the program, if you love Windows 95, it's the rapture, baby, because Windows 95 is back. You can run it on your Windows 10 computer, on your Mac, or even on your Linux computer. And we're going to tell you how to do that coming up on the program today. All right, 866-496-8772. Got to take a break. When we come back, your calls coming up next on Compute This. Schrock Innovations can't teleport technicians to you, but online help is only a click away with the Schrock Desk. Subscribe today and get unlimited help whenever you need it. Schrock Innovations has spent nearly two decades working to make your technology life easier. And the all-new SchrockInnovations.com is no exception. Now you can order new modular computers and solid-state laptops directly from our website, secure your computer with our virus-free guaranteed semantic endpoint software, find innovative new technologies like our modular storage devices, and get free help and tips. Take a look at the special section to find sales on one-of-a-kind items, display models, refurbished units, and our latest special offers. Swing by the Compute This page to watch TV segments and archived radio shows, or even get one-on-one -on -one help through the Schrock Desk. As always, we respect your privacy, so we secure our website with the latest encryption technology and only the most secure payment methods. You can pick up your purchases at any of our three service centers or have them shipped directly to your door. The new SchrockInnovations.com makes technology simple. It's what we do. Compute this pro tip 299. There are enough mothballed computers in U.S. homes to give one to every man, woman, and child in the country. Many of these computers find their way into landfills where they can leak cadmium, lithium, and other nasty chemicals into the groundwater. Schrock Innovations is very proud of the fact that we recycle more e-waste every year than we create. You can drop off any old or broken computer equipment to our service centers at any time, free of cost. We only charge $15 just for monitors because they are especially difficult to process. No appointment is required, and we accept all computer-related equipment like printers, keyboards, speakers, and accessories. Additionally, the rare earth elements in computers can be recycled right here in the U.S. to reduce our reliance on supplies from foreign countries. Take a moment, drop off your old computer equipment today, and Schrock will make sure it's properly recycled and put to good use right here in the U.S. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, guys, welcome back into Compute This. My name is still Thor Schrock, and I'm still the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Funding secured. <laughs> A little Tesla joke there in case you weren't following. 866-496-8772. You've got to Google it, okay? Just Google Elon and, and funding secured, and you'll, you'll figure it out. 866-496-8772. All right, so I mentioned in the last segment that Spectre patches are coming. Um, there was a whole other class of vulnerabilities found in Intel processors. We talked about this several weeks ago. Um, but Microsoft is releasing patches in the next Patch Tuesday update that, uh, that is going to remedy all these. Um, they claim that the impact on performance is going to be negligible. But this would be the, what, fourth Spectre patch that your Windows machine has received with the negligible performance impact. You add up negligible four times and you get substantial. Um, so basically, customers have been coming in, especially for the maintenance checkup special this time, saying their computer just seems a lot slower than it used to be. And honestly, the only thing we can do, it's, it's more secure, which is good. That's what we want to see, right? Um, but the only thing that we can do now to combat the level of slowness, we're talking up to 30 or 40% speed reduction in some computers, uh, especially like fourth generation computers. They have seen a, a, a terrible speed uh, hit from this. And ironically, the older Intel chips, the first, second, and third gen Intel chips, they are not seeing any impact in speed performance at all because they didn't get patched. They're still unsecure. So if you have a really old Intel-based machine, 
you're not secure. If you have a newer Intel-based machine, it's going to be incredibly slower. In some cases, uh, for example, Linux is recommending that you disable hyper-threading to, to make it secure. Hyper-threading is what makes the Intel processor fast. I mean, if you don't have hyper-threading, it's Windows 95 all over again. So <laughs> as we can tell, it's coming back. So basically, guys, the, uh, the thing is there's a bunch of patches coming on Tuesday. Be aware of that. Well, not sorry, coming on Patch Tuesday. Patch Tuesday is the second Tuesday of every month. Um, so be aware of that. You, you, if you leave your computer on all the time, which is what I recommend you do, if you want to restart your computer the second Wednesday of the month, uh, it'll install all those patches and make sure that you're protected. Uh, speaking of patches uh, in October and Halloween and everything else, another big scary thing happening this October is uh, the, oh, we got We have to cut a thing for this. The safe OKA. Microsoft is pushing a new version of Windows 10 in October. How did I not think of this before? Ooh, I mean, we could totally, it's scary <laughs> because it's going to, 20% of you will not survive. <laughs> I mean, we got to do that. We're going to have to, okay, it's going to happen. Let's get Scott on that. But, uh, but basically the, uh, the Microsoft is pushing their Redstone 5 update in October. Um, you don't really have a choice. You're going to get it. You can employ some tactics to delay it if you want to, um, but you're, it's going to be an active delay. I mean, you're going to have to do it intentionally and continue to do it every time it tries to install. Um, the other thing is you could just get Shrock Safe Upgrade. What Shrock Safe Upgrade does is it installs the, the Redstone 5 update, which is actually a whole new version of Windows. It installs it in a controlled way so that your computer gets the update the same way a technician would do it on our bench. We check to make sure you're running good antivirus. We check to make sure your hard drive is good. We check to make sure that your, uh, all your third-party programs are up to date. With all that done, then we attempt to install the upgrade on your computer. And you know, like I said, 20% of the time, even with those measures in place, 20% of the time the upgrade will fail. That failure could look like anything from, oh, whoops, it didn't work, to, oh gosh, it worked and all my data is gone, or bloop, my computer won't reboot anymore. Um, so all those scenarios pretty much require you to come into the service center and spend money normally to get them fixed, right? Our labor is 110 bucks. If we have to reinstall your operating system and move your data around, it's usually two hours of labor. So you're talking the you know, average customer that gets hit by this, it's like a $200 bill. And it seems to be the same people that get hit every time around. I don't understand that, but it does. Anyway, um, Shrock Safe Upgrade is there as an insurance policy. So it's $50 to buy. You can purchase a Shrock Safe Upgrade on our website at shrockinnovations.com. Same place as the maintenance certificate, shop and specials. You can pick up one of those. You need one for each computer that you want to upgrade. And then when the update comes out in October, we will let you know through email. We'll send you possibly even a text message to your phone. Of course, you'll hear about it on Facebook and on the radio show here. And we'll let you know it's time to run that update. So you go ahead and you run the update. If, it, if everything installs great, perfect. That's what we want to have happen. If something goes wrong, because you purchased Shrock Safe Upgrade from us, if your upgrade did not safely complete, you now have a warranty. And so that means we're, we'll take a look at it on our bench in our service center at no cost to you to try to figure out what happened. Limitations of the warranty. Okay, let me give you a scenario. You go to install Shrock Safe Upgrade. You run it on the computer, and the thing says, uh-oh, you have a bad hard drive on your computer. We recommend you don't install. And then you install anyway. That's not covered by warranty. You can't warranty that level of intelligence. <laughs> See what I did there? You just can't warranty that. Now, on the other hand, if it passes all the tests and everything comes back clean, and then it fails, that's, of course, a warranty situation. So keep that in mind, guys, when you're on the website, 866-496-8772. Bonnie, welcome to the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Hey, uh, I'm having a problem with the sound on my computer, and I've done everything. I the, the says it's supposed to be unplugged. I even got down my hands and knees and untwisted the cord to make sure I was looking at the right thing. Oh, wow. It's plugged in, and on their site, you could, uh, on a system, to give them feedback. Right. Notice where someone else had the same thing. It says okay. unplugged and it's plugged in. 
Gotcha. Okay. So uh, did we build this computer for you, Bonnie? No, it's a Dell computer. Okay, gotcha. Now, sometimes, depending on the sound card that's integrated with the motherboard, there will be a piece of software that's designed to control. And they try to make it super smart. Like, they try to figure out if you're plugging headphones into the front of the computer, we can optimize your sound experience for headphones. Or if you're mm -hmm. plugging in big speakers, we can optimize your, your sound experience for surround sound speakers. Sometimes it's too smart by half, and you end up in the situation that you're in. So mm -hmm. one way that we can test this out, um, mm -hmm. do you have a pair of headphones at home? No, I don't. Not even earbuds? No. You have no headphones? Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm 71 years old. I'm old-fashioned. Well, come on. I mean, 71 <laughs> years, you think you'd have come across a set of headphones by now. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, Bonnie. All right. The reason I was asking that is you know, most computer repair troubleshooting comes down to eliminating possibilities. So right now, we have three possibilities. There is something in the software that's messed up, whether that's a setting, like it's, is it muted, Bonnie? I have, um, spe I have a spe speakers. Well, and the second possibility is you have bad speakers. And uh -huh. the third possibility is you have a bad sound card. So we hmm. have hardware, hardware, software. So we have to eliminate those possibilities. Well, how can I eliminate your speakers? I need to hook up a different set of speakers. And, oh. and basically, I would say if you have a pair of headphones, we can plug headphones in, and those are self-contained. They don't require power. There's no potential for anything to go wrong. Um, if you have powered speakers and there's no power to the speakers, um, the, the, the report is disconnected. Okay. Um, Maybe I could find some headphones. Okay. If I plug in the headphones, if I find headphones, plug headphones into the, into the speakers. Right. In, no, not into the speakers, into the, the hole that the speakers plug into into the back of the computer. Because we're going to unhook the speakers entirely oh, okay. and make sure because if the speakers are bad and you plug into the speakers, it doesn't help you. It doesn't, it doesn't eliminate that possibility. Okay, I've got a lot, lot of wires back here. So. Now, the, Bonnie, are you located in the, the Omaha or Lincoln metro areas? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, okay. I am. There is one other potential thing you could do. Bring it in. You could bring it in or you could call us for a free pickup. We, oh. pick, up, we pick up and drop off for free. So uh -huh. we can come out and pick it up for you. Um, basically, you know, the preventative maintenance checkups are on sale right now. We don't we, see. Here's the trick. We don't, I just had it in. Oh, how long ago? A month. Not more than a month or more. Uh, under a month. I don't know. It hasn't been very long at all. Okay. Well, Bonnie, mm -hmm. my gosh, you know, before you brought this into us, I bet those speakers worked fine. Uh, they did. Yeah. So you know what? I, I think that this could be a Schrock desk warranty on your previous visit then. I oh. think if you called the service center and said, I love you guys so much, but you see, when I brought my computer in, the speakers uh -huh. worked. And now that I'm home, they don't work. Now, the number one cause for that, Bonnie, is that the, the, the speaker wire in the back of the computer is plugged into the wrong hole. So that's the first thing they're going to have you check. The it whole... was working. I mean, after I brought it in, mm -hmm. the sound was working. After you took it home? Well, yes, and right. then I was watching Swag Bucks video one day. Okay, um, and it just stopped working. It just stopped working. Okay, okay. Well, you know, normally I would tell you if you're calling for a, to get a free warranty, I would leave that out. Um, <laughs> 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 but but you see, by the time they get that far, we're already committed. So here's the thing. If we can solve a problem for a customer in two minutes or less, we just solve it. We're not gonna, we don't want to make you come back in and, and uh -huh. drop any money on, on, on getting something fixed if we can uh -huh. fix it remotely for you. So okay. the speakers were working. That means that we can make a reasonable assumption that the sound card is working and the speakers are working. So uh -huh. now what we need to do is figure out what is in the software that's not working, and that's something that we can troubleshoot over the Schrock test. So, Bonnie, what I would say, this is my expert opinion, give us a call in the service center. We open today at noon. Uh, but give us a call, and it is, oh, I guess it depends what day you're listening. Saturday we open at 10, but Sunday we open at noon. Um, so give mm -hmm. us a call in the service center. Let us remote into the computer over the Schrock desk and take a look at those sound settings for you so that we can, we can find out what's not working right. There's something in there that's not working right. And sometimes it's as easy as disabling that stupid little program that, uh, that manages the sound for you. Thank you very much for the call, Bonnie. We also have you in the drawing for the $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. 866-496-8772. We're late for the bottom of the hour, but uh, it waited for us. And so we'll, we'll be right back after this on Compute This. If you can dream it, Schrock Interactive's website developers can make it happen. Refresh your website, automate sales and marketing, and grow your business today with Schrock Interactive. 
Some people like desktops for their power and upgradability, but nothing rivals a laptop for computing on the go. But why should you have to sacrifice performance for portability? The innovators at Schrock want our customers to have it all. So we created a new kind of laptop, the Solid State Laptop from Schrock Innovations. Solid State Laptops are built using the same frame and main boards as regular laptops, but we've removed half of the moving parts while more than doubling the computer's speed. The result? Laptops that boot to Windows in six seconds or less, respond instantly to your commands, and can survive drops that put most laptops into the data recovery lab. Starting at only $4.99, Solid State Laptops give you speed, reliability, durability, and performance for the same price most people pay for a cheap disposable laptop. The next time you're looking for a laptop, check out the Solid State Laptops at schrockinnovations.com or visit any of our service centers. Simple, solid, fast technology is what we do at Schrock. Compute this pro tip 843. Of all computer failures, the scariest and most expensive is the hard drive. But there are some steps you can take to save money and save your data before it's too late. Detecting failures early is important, so install a free utility like Drive Advisor from driveadvisor.com to monitor your hard drive's health and receive warnings when there's a problem. But most of all, hard drive failures happen slowly, so early detection is key to reducing the repair bill. Second, if your hard drive makes any unusual noises, immediately turn off your computer and do not turn it on again. These issues are physical problems, and the more you try to use it, the worse the damage becomes. Remember that most computer repair shops do not have the specialized equipment needed to recover your data from a failed drive. Never open your drive or allow anyone else to do so. Open drives always cost more to recover. Schrock does not charge for data recovery evaluations and quotes, so let the local pros look at your drive before you make any recovery decisions. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. This is a Fox News alert. I'm Karen McHugh. Tributes pouring in from both sides of the political aisle for Senator John McCain. The Vietnam War hero lost his battle with brain cancer Saturday. President Trump tweeting at the McCain family last night, my deepest sympathies and respect go out to the family of Senator John McCain. Our hearts and prayers are with you. And former President Obama writing in part, few of us have been tested the way John once was or requested to show the kind of courage that he did. But all of us can aspire to the courage to put the greater good above our own. At John's best, he showed us what that means and for that we are all in his debt. Fox's Jillian Turner, John McCain was 81. A fire on the south side of Chicago kills two kids and six adults. The city's fire commissioner is stunned. We have not had this in many 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 years. Uh, this amount of uh, fatalities and injuries in one location so this is very unusual. Jose Santiago, one firefighter is hospitalized. No cause has been determined. Fox News, we report, you decide. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. Morning fog will continue to burn out of the area, and today we'll have plenty of sunshine and hot temperatures moving in with a high of 92 degrees and winds out of the south. Tonight, you'll notice increasing clouds, temperatures falling into the mid 70s. Once we get into tomorrow, could be dealing with some morning spotty showers. Highs will top in the 80s. With Omaha's most accurate weather team, I'm 6 News meteorologist Peter Sherwood on News Radio 1110 KFAB. All righty, folks, welcome back in. Halftime is over. I hope you all got your potty breaks in because we got a wild ride coming up. 866-496-8772. All right, so we have covered Windows 10 Alert, all versions of Windows 10, getting Intel patches for Spectre and foreshadow bugs. We talked about that. The, <laughs> oh, golly, okay. I haven't got to this yet. For, for the two Linux guys listening out there that really want me to talk about stuff about Linux, um, Okay, so Intel has these patches coming out, right, that are, are, are sapping the performance of computers. The reason it's such a big deal for Linux users, in the, and I, I joke tongue-in-cheek, because in the computing community, um, as far as residential users go, very, very few people use Linux, because it's just, the, the ecosystem for support, for consumer support is not there. It's non-existent, actually. Um, if you're a DIYer or a fix-it-yourself kind of person, Linux could be usable by you. If you expect, if you're a dealership, if a person who takes your car to the dealership to get the oil changed, Linux is not for you, okay? Um, however, in the world of servers and internet and web hosting, Linux is the by large dominating force 
So if you're on a website, there is better than a 50% chance that website is being served to you from a Linux computer. So when these Microsoft patches come out, because most of these servers also run Intel processors, when all these patches come out from Intel and Microsoft to, to make the, the, the security of your computer more important, you know, it's important for you as a user to have good security, but it is wickedly important for that web server to have good security. Because if you compromise one person's computer, you could steal one person's information. If you compromise one web server, you could compromise thousands of businesses' information who have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of customers. So it's really important for web servers to have good security. So when these patches come out for Intel chips to patch everything, it is impacting the performance of those processors. When it impacts the performance of the processor, it means your website's slower to load. You have to all of a sudden buy more processing time. Uh, and it's not cheap. You have to spend more money. People might ask, why do I have to spend more money suddenly? Well, it's because we got patches. Well, we're secure now. Well, you weren't secure before. And it gets to be a, a big rigmarole. There's a huge war in the data center right now. AMD's processors are just as efficient and just as powerful as Intel's processors now. And AMD would love to make a push into that, that locked up world of the data center. They would love to have access to that. And all they need is Intel to misstep one time to give them that access. So if all of a sudden my Intel server drops performance by 40% and I have to buy a new server, I might be a little peeved at Intel. I might choose to buy an AMD chip instead. So as a result, Intel put out patches for all the vulnerabilities on their Linux-based operating systems. And they instructed people to install those patches as quickly as possible. In some cases, even disabling hyper-threading to make the patches more secure. Well, one of the things is when you load those patches in there, there was a little, you know that EULA, the End User License Agreement, the terms of service, the fine print that no one reads. Intel, or excuse me, uh, yes, Intel gagged Linux users. They said you could benchmark the performance of your processor for your own information, but you cannot share that benchmark with anyone or publish it anywhere. So if you're an IT administrator and you install Linux on the computer and your boss wants to know why the server is slower, are you not allowed to tell him about the benchmark performance? The end user license agreement says you are not technically. Um, are you, you're not allowed to publish the fact that your server is now 40% slower anywhere on the internet? It might dissuade others from buying Intel processors for their new servers. Ooh. Well, as you might imagine, as soon as the news of that got out, Intel rapidly ditched the Linux patch benchmark gag and offers an innocuous new license. Intel has ditched a controversial licensing agreement that appeared to be aimed at legally preventing developers from publishing benchmark results that could reveal performance slowdowns caused by its most recent security patches. As ZDNet reported yesterday, the chip maker was criticized by open source champion Bruce Perens. Okay, so now we have the, the Microsoft patch lady. And remember patches? We had the patch lady. And now we have the open source champion, Bruce. Bruce, your open source champion, um, is uh, pounding. Bruce is pounding on Intel for slipping new restrictions into the software agreement for the maintenance and distribution of Linux, such as Debian and Ubuntu. Um, the uh, changes in license terms came with Microsoft, microcode updates to mitigate Spectre and Foreshadow, or L1 terminal fault, L1 TF speculative attack. That's what it's called if you're a Linux guy. You see why it's not popular? All right, 866-496-8772. So there you go, guys. Intel, once again, this is the same company when AMD's Ryzen chips came out. These are the chips we're going to use in the holiday special. They are so much better than Intel's chips that they attempted to bribe, literally no joke, bribe the reviewers of the chips to make sure that they're... It, I, we understand the Ryzen chips are going to be better, but we just want you to make it sound not so exciting. Like, yeah, they're a little better, but it's no big deal. And to, in exchange for that, we're going to give you a horde of Intel products, uh, of course, for, for testing. And if you forget to send them back, you know, well, <laughs> oops, you know, we lose a lot of stuff in freight, I guess. 866-496-8772. Intel is behind the eight ball and they're in all of the legacy markets. They are losing market share. They're trying to make it up by creating new processors that are specifically designed for virtual reality. 
um, and, and artificial intelligence. That's where the future of computing is. That's where Intel thinks it's going to be. Intel said the same thing about cell phones. And look, how many of us have a cell phone with an Intel processor? Eh, zero. Nobody. So we're going to break into the smartphone market. Eh, we're going to break into the artificial intelligence market. Do you even need a specialized processor for artificial intelligence? I thought they were using graphics cards for that. 866-496-8772. Dale, you're the next caller on the program. How can I help you today on Compute This, Dale? I have a question. I have a, a Hewlett Packard notebook that has the recovery partition in the hard drive. Okay. And it was originally on 8.1, and now it's on Windows 10. And my question is, with these, in, and it's also got Intel processors, uh, these patches that are affecting the Intel chip, if you aren't happy, either or going back to an earlier restore point or actually doing a reset of uh -huh. the partition. Has that partition been rewritten to Windows 10 or will it revert back to uh, uh, 8.1? And then are those patches for the Intel chip, are they written into that partition or will that erase them and take them out? No, that's a great question. So basically, whatever version of Windows 10 you're currently running on your computer, that is the version that your recovery partition will restore if you execute it. Um, so basically, it, it rewrites the recovery partition as part of the upgrade process. Now, you do have a 30-day window in which you can revert back to the previous version if there's some problem with it. But of course, it'll just automatically update again next time it does updates. Um, so once you're in the Windows 10 ecosystem, if your hardware supports the newest version of Windows 10, you will have it. You have no choice. It will happen. Um, so sad, too bad for you. And each new version of Windows that comes out has all of the patches from the previous version built into it. So, for example, when the, when the uh, Redstone 5 update comes out this October, all of these, these Spectre, Meltdown, Lockout, all the patches are going to be built directly into that version of Windows 10 that you get. So you won't have a choice. Um, now, as far as ro rolling back, if you roll back to Windows 8.1, Windows 8.1 is no longer supported by Microsoft. Yeah, I know that. Um, and so you don't have a safe internet experience because you don't have patches for all kinds of important things. Um, so that, that's bad news. Um, you can't, you know, Windows 7 is still out there. You can use that till about 2020, and then that's going to become unsafe as well. But, uh, but a lot of the newer features that people are enjoying in Windows 10 simply aren't compatible with Windows 7 anymore. Um, are, is Windows 7, uh, do they have them patches for the Intel chips too? They or? do, yeah. It, it, this, uh, that, the problem isn't, it's not a, this isn't a Windows 10 problem. Yeah, I, this I is, understand that. It's an Intel so. problem. Uh, honestly, it's an Intel problem. In fact, a lot of computers are getting BIOS patches released for them that automatically you know, change the, the BIOS configuration of your computer so that, uh, so that when you restart the computer, all of a sudden it's patched on the BIOS level. So then your computer slows down even more. The cumulative slowdown for some of these patches has been up to 40%. We've offset that for customers by switching them over to solid state hard drives, uh, but which gives you about a five times performance boost on an old computer. And so it makes the computer, it's still a little bit faster than it was before all the patches. But, uh, but yeah, it makes it kind of new again, basically. And the uh, restore point on the, uh, uh, you know, where you create the, uh, like a, you can go in and create a restore point before right. you do something. Will that remove that uh, Intel patch that it, you just did or not? Well, you've been getting Intel patches continuously for the. the there isn't just yeah, one I vulnerability. The, the vulnerabilities have been coming for about six months now. So you've got your two versions of Windows into patches now. Um, yeah, so your, I understand that. Your restore point will remove the most recent installed programs or patches. Uh, but then, of course, Windows Update will immediately start downloading them and installing them again on the next system reboot. Okay. So you're basically uh, screwed either way. <laughs> you are, but I mean, here's the trouble. You know, thank you very much for the call. Here's the problem, Dale. You, you, you like as you so eloquently put it. <laughs> you're, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. Because if you don't install the patches, you're not secure, and you're going to get hit with eventually by an attack. If you do install the patches, you get a performance hit, so your computer runs a little slower, but you're secure. So I guess in the right, the right quote unquote right decision to make is to take the performance hit and be secure. That's the right decision to make. Now, as a result of that, a lot of our customers, I, I can't keep solid state hard drives in stock, guys. I'm ordering about three a day per service center. 
uh, to come in because there's different sizes and capacities and things uh, because so many of our customers are upgrading to solid state drives now in their computers, their desktops, their laptops. When we have somebody come in with a bad hard drive, a lot of times they'll just choose to go to a solid state because you're buying a new hard drive anyway, so why not do a solid state? And they get the computer back and they're like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe. One, one customer in Lincoln, her computer went from 41 seconds to boot down to 13. And she was like, this is amazing. I'm like, yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. 866-496-8772. Jacob, you're next up on the program. How can I help you on Compute This today? Uh, Thor, I have two sound questions. Okay. Uh, one comment is on Bonnie's call. I also on, uh, have sound go out. And to get it back, I have to pull up Windows Media Player and click on a song, and that'll turn the sound back on. On whatever I was watching other than that, uh, listening to other than that or watching other than that. But I'm my problem besides that with sound on Windows 10 is the volume on it is is so much lower than on, on my previous old computer. And even with the whatever website I'm watching with that sound volume up to maximum, it's still is probably half or three fourths of what the sound, the volume was on like a Windows X, old Windows XP. So with that built in sound card in that, uh, on Windows 10, if you put in a new, uh, sound card, uh, mm -hmm. a separate sound card, uh, would that increase the volume or, or how can you get the volume up? It's just horrible. Sure. Well, the, the, the quality of the sound that you get is going to be directly dependent on the quality of your speakers. So what are you using for speakers? Well, the, the same speakers, the subwoofer and four externals that I used with the Windows XP. Okay. On, when you have a, 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 that's a really nice speaker set. So there should be, one of the speakers should have a volume control on, the, on one of the satellite that's, speakers. That's also turned up as far as it can go. All right. If that's turned up as far as it can go, the other thing, Windows 10, um, introduced a new feature where you can control volume by application or master volume. So you can turn the master volume up or down, or you can mute it, for example, and it'll mute all sound. Or you can say, well, I want my, um, my system sounds to be quiet, so when I get an error ding or dong, it's not like bong, you know. Uh, but I want my YouTube to be loud, and I can turn that YouTube up. I can turn up my internet browser and turn down the system sound. Um, so basically, if you go down into the lower right-hand corner of the screen, where you have the little uh, the speaker symbol. Are you in front of the computer right now? Well, yeah, I know what you're talking about, and that's also 100%. Right, if you, but instead of left-clicking on that, because that just gives you the master volume, right-click on it to get more options, and then uh -huh. select Playback Devices. Playback Devices. And this is going to show you your, your speakers on the computer, and you can go, there's all these tabs across the top. One of them is called Sounds. Um, and so when I, when I start the, or there's playback, there's recording, there's sounds and communication. So playback is the one you're looking for. And if you go into playback, you can go into levels and you can turn the levels of all the different channels up because you, you have a surround sound speaker system. So you have like three or four channels that you can turn up or down. Um, so definitely go in there and check that out because you could have uh, a front channel muted so only some of your speakers aren't working. Um, also, the subwoofer has its own volume control on the, on the large speaker usually that you can turn up or down that allows you to adjust the level of the bass as well. Um, so you want to check that out as well. One quick question before I let you go, Jacob. Are you a Bar do, do you uh, have a Barclays credit card by any chance? No. Okay. I just wanted to make sure because it's some, I, I wanted to find out if like, your pocket was warm right now because some Barclays customers have been receiving these letters uh, warning them about the recall on their debit cards because they're, uh, they're exploding apparently. So I just wanted to make sure that your wallet was safe. <laughs> It, it, it gives you, it's, now this isn't a joke. People are really getting these letters. They're saying their debit cards are exploding. Um, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to cover that in the next segment. But I just wanted to make sure, you know, Capital One has that whole tagline, what's in your wallet? And, you know, if you answer a Barclays card, you may not be able to get on an airplane, you know, because it could explode. Thank you very much for the call, Jacob. I appreciate it. Yeah, sound issues are, are always troubling, but it comes down to the same three things. Speakers, sound card, settings. Those are the three things. And nothing has changed in the actual, the, 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 the amperage output of signal from the, from the sound cards, whether it's integrated. You could get, he could get a whole other sound card and have the exact same problem because I suspect strongly that his problem is in the settings on the computer or with the ancient speakers. 
Speakers do wear out. 866-496-8772. All right, before we run into break here real quick, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, Secure Updater. We haven't talked about this a whole lot on the program recently, but Secure Updater is a, is a piece of software that we make at Schrock Innovations. Um, it has its own website, and this is something we're going to unify later, so you don't find it on the Schrock Innovations website. So yes, we make it, but it's not on our website because it's so big it has its own website at secureupdater.com. What Secure Updater does, if you've ever been using your computer and you see these pop-ups come up on the screen telling you you need to update something, Secure Updater does those updates for you silently and automatically in the background so that when you get a pop-up saying you need to update something, you don't have to pay attention to it. It's all good. You know it's fake. You don't have to deal with it. Unlike these, these exploding debit card letters, which you really need to do something with apparently. Um, so bottom line, guys, Secure Updater updates. There's like 12 updates a week for your computer that are not covered by Windows Update. They're not automatically done. Now, some of them are, some of them aren't. Some of them do it eventually if you, you know, let it pester you long enough kind of thing. If you get a free trial of Secure Updater, you can go to secureupdater.com. You can get the free trial. We don't ask you for a credit card to get the free trial. You can seriously go get the 15-day free trial and use it for two weeks and decide if you like it. And if you like it enough to pay for it, it's a little over $2 a month in the long run. If you don't want it, you can just uninstall it. It doesn't bother you. It doesn't, you know, there's no retention plan. <laughs> you ever try to cancel your cable? Uh, just a quick quick word of advice. If you call the cable company and tell them you're going to leave, they'll transfer you to the retention department where they'll cut your bill like in half. It's ridiculous. Um, so don't quote me on the numbers, guys, but they will reduce your bill. 866-496-8772. Uh, and you can get Secure Updater, that free trial I talked about, at secureupdater.com. All right, we're going to take our final break of the program. When we come back, we got a lot to get in. We have uh, exploding debit cards and the resurrection of Windows 95. That, that's going to be fun. We can play. We could all play Doom now again. Coming up next on Compute This. Drive Advisor is a free program from Schrock Innovations that monitors your hard drive's health and tells you if it's going bad. Download it for free at driveadvisor.com. Every person listening to this broadcast has either experienced data loss or knows someone who has. When you think about it, you have a lot more data stored in many more places than you'd like to admit. Have you downloaded those videos from your phone, backed up the pictures on your iPad, or even tackled that sometimes daunting task of backing up your entire computer's hard drive? Most people just don't back up their stuff. And that's why Schrock Innovations has one of the most advanced data recovery centers in the Midwest. Equipped with the latest DDI data imaging devices, state-of-the-art custom recovery software, and Omaha's best data recovery technicians, Schrock Innovations has a 96.8% success rate when recovering data from damaged hard drives, flash drives, camera cards, and more. We all know we should back up our data, but if you are ever caught in a data loss nightmare, call the experts at Schrock Innovations to get your data back right where it belongs, safe and backed up on a stable hard drive. Compute This Pro Tip 578. Technology is constantly changing, so how can you tell when the time has come to recycle your old outdated computer and invest in a new one? Experts have rules of thumb and formulas, but Schrock believes the answer is simple. You should replace your old computer when it can no longer do the things you need in a secure way. For example, you should not be using operating systems like Windows XP or Vista because they're no longer maintained by Microsoft and they're not secure. And if your computer cannot run Windows 10, it's probably time to begin saving for a replacement. If your existing computer requires a repair and that cost is 50% or more of the cost of a new computer, it might be time to consider a replacement. But keep in mind, additional costs like data transfers and important software you have to upgrade like genealogy software or Quicken. And also keep in mind that modern computers are engineered to last 18 months for a normal user. And don't worry, you are considered a normal user. Schrock modular PCs and solid-state laptops are specifically designed to last four to six years for that same normal user, saving your family money and time. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, guys, we're wrapping up the show. We're going to hit these two stories before we go out. I promise we're going to get to them here. Uh, for those of you just joining us on the program, um, if you are interested in a holiday special desktop, uh, please do contact the Papillion Service Center, the Lincoln Service Center, the Omaha Service Center, your choice. Um, but uh, we're looking for one customer 
that wants to buy a holiday special now, you pay for it now. It takes about 14 business days for us to get it built for you. But then you have it a month ahead of when we make it available for everybody else. Um, the only requirement of getting it early is that you have to be willing to talk with us on the air about your experience with the computer. And please, if you're the type of person that gives one word answers, like, so how's the holiday special? It's nice. Can you elaborate? No. Yeah. If, if that's you, please don't buy it, okay? I need somebody who's going to talk about it and give me like a review, basically. I'm not going to make you write it. You just come on the air and talk about it. It's easy peasy. Uh, also, today's the final day for the preventative maintenance checkup sale. So if you have not purchased your certificates already, um, or if you haven't brought your computer in, if you were going to just bring it in, today's it. Saturday, we're open from 10 in the morning till 8 in the evening. Sunday, from noon to 5. Bring it into the service center so we can get it taken care of for you. All right. So some Barclays card customers are getting letters in the mail explaining that there is a manufacturing flaw in the card that is causing the cards to overheat or even explode. Um, the, the explosions can result in burns on your hip or they said your belly, which I'm wondering, where are you carrying? Do you have a fanny pack turned around to the front? Like, where are you carrying your wallet? You're going to burn your belly with your exploding debit card. Um, so anyway, that, that was the first hint to me. Like, something doesn't make sense. Who says, what company says belly in a letter? Like, it's like it can burn your gut, you know? If it's done lopping over your pocket. Um, so that's the first cue that something was a little bit off. Um, and then it talks about a, a city where the cards are made, but they misspelled the city name. Hmm, that looks a little weird. But apparently uh, it, it's all good because they send you a letter in the mail. And on the letter, they ask you to, to get a new card, a replacement card. Um, they, they don't want to leave these exploding cards out in the in the wild, you know, because they could cause untold problems. Imagine if you got like 20 Barclays customers in a room together. That's like, that's like a stick of dynamite, right? So what we can do is we can, and I have a Barclays card. Like I'm, I'm waiting to get this letter. I want this letter. But the letter then says, you fill it out. You put your name and your address, you know, your, 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 your phone number, um, your PIN number, um, red flag, um, and a few other things. And you sign it, and then you put it in an envelope. They didn't give you a postage paid envelope, which I thought was kind of cheap of them, um, especially because you have to send it to India. I mean, that's a lot of postage, right? But then you send your card out to India and then they'll send you a new card within two weeks. Anybody pick up the scam here? Fill out this form with your PIN number, put your debit card in the envelope and send it to India. Hmm. They're doing the Nigerians one better here. So there is no exploding debit card. Come on, there's no battery in those debit cards. There's nothing to explode. It's a scam. So if you get a letter telling you that your debit card is going to go Poof. don't send your debit card to the scammer with the pin number on a piece of paper that makes no sense at all all right we got to draw a winner of the 25 dollars schrock innovations gift certificate you didn't get phone numbers oh no <laughs> we have no phone numbers so we can't call anybody back so there's no winner today i guess sorry about that everybody um but you can be a winner and go to Schrock's website and buy a maintenance checkup certificate for like $40 off, and then that makes up for it. Um, also, Windows 95 is back as an app. You can download this app for Windows. Uh, if you have Windows 10, it's available in the App Store, and you can run Windows 95 as a program on your computer and play Doom all over again. All right, stay tuned to the After Schrock, guys, coming up next on Facebook, facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. We'll be back again next Sunday for another edition of Compute This. From the Millard Roofing Studios, we've got you covered. This is News Radio 1110 KFAB.